right guys, here we are. This is July 5th here at the uh, Moon Palace Resort. Um, right here, this is the map of the Moon Palace Resort. Right now, this is the grand section of the, of the resort. In the middle is the Nizuk section of the Moon Palace. And over here is the Sunrise section of the Moon Palace, the oldest section. What's cool about this whole thing is, right now, this is the only section open. It's the grand section. There's about 900 people staying in that section. So pretty much, you're not running into a lot of people right now. About coming down because of anything, don't worry too much about it. It's open. But what's really cool is these other properties that are massive. The only thing really going on here is we got staff out here trying to keep the lawn green. Got some security. Otherwise, the pools are empty. The rooms are all empty. The drapes are pulled. This is like a ghost town right now. Um, you can actually use the pathways. A lot of people are using these to jog. You don't even have to worry about running into other people when you're jogging in the morning or you're jogging to the walk to the beach. You might see a dozen people out of the That's pretty much in the busy hours. Um, so right now everybody's being funneled over to the Grand. I actually booked the Sunrise portion of the Moon Palace, but they're funneling us over to the Grand, which is great because the service here is fantastic. The water park's fantastic. Great restaurants, great food, great overall service. The, the staff is wonderful. We're just loving it right now and I would suggest if you can come down here or you're worried about traveling, don't. Come on down, enjoy Mexico, be safe, all the staff, everybody's wearing face masks and everything and abiding by rules. A lot of good opportunities to keep your hands clean. Every restaurant you go into, they're cleaning your hands. Um, so make sure you come down. I mean, this is actually really kind of a special time to be here in the Riviera Maya area. We've had nothing but fun and it's been wonderful. So. We'll go down and show you a little bit more about uh, Nizuk and some of these closed areas that are kind of abandoned right now. This is a different section of the Nizuk Resort here in Moon Palace. This is the uh, chapel. Like if you come down, you're going to get married or something like that. You can actually get married on the beach or you can use the chapel, which has a really gorgeous view of the ocean. Um, they're actually doing a great job of keeping seaweed and everything to a minimum down here. I've been really surprised. I've actually been out to the ocean a few times and uh, the water's actually not too bad. As you can see behind me, even this little bit of seaweed you'll see within a, an hour from now, they'll run that tractor down and that seaweed will be all gone. The sand will be soft and it's actually pretty gorgeous. Uh, it's a little overcast this morning, but the reality is this beach is, is really usable. I've been here before where there's a lot of seaweed in the water. It's really empty. I think the seaweed barriers are working effectively, keeping the seaweed down to a minimum. But you see a few people walking these paths and joining them this morning. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, so just walking a little bit more on the Nizuk property. Restaurant open on this property. There is security on here that's kind of keeping things probably in order, making sure that nobody comes in here. They actually have cameras occasionally and they also have lights that are shooting out on the beach, probably just to make sure nobody comes up through the beach at night. But yeah, all the nets are down on the pools, no volleyball going on. It's just interesting right now over here. Ocean, here's the grand. Um, Still, so maybe later that afternoon you might see a few more people. But otherwise, it's a 
Otherwise, I have no hesitation to jump out there and swim the first few feet. I might have a little bit of seaweed, but otherwise, to get out here, it's really actually pretty nice. And like I say, this will all be cleaned up. Give it about an hour, I'll bet this is smooth and clean. It looks beautiful again. So, great little area to walk. So, we're back here at the grand side of the resort. So, you see, we got people out here this morning. Before people even get out, it's actually 8 o'clock right now down here. There's people out, they're actually scrub each chair. They start in the evening, they clean each chair, wipe them down, walk the pool, make sure everything's clean there. Um, there's a whole group that comes in every night with you know, gloves on, masks on, as we're leaving the pools, and they're ready to clean this whole place and disinfect it as best they can. So really a good attention to that detail and make sure things are, are good for the guests and enjoyable. So you guys will come through and knock it out. Yeah, this is uh, one of the cool restaurants you can come to just when you're at the pool. You come in there, probably just dry off a little bit and go in. Great tacos, really good food. It's pretty close to the beach. One thing I have noticed, they don't really have any good restaurants that are really like overlooking the ocean, but there's a lot that are just right next to the pools, near the ocean. Um, but pretty much every pool, there is food. Plus you can order off your menus and they'll bring it right to your, your uh, chairs as well, or your cabana or wherever you're sitting. So food here is fantastic. We've had good experiences on all the different restaurants service uh, phenomenal everywhere and so I mean overall um, we really love this property we're planning to come back we're actually already looking to come back here in a couple months just because it is such a great property and more importantly the staffs even that much better they do a fantastic job are you going up yeah. to the main building lobby yeah the main lobby lobby by the front yes. okay and I sit on the back yeah you know, On. This is a fitness center and uh, they have quite a bit of equipment here. They have a good amount of free weights as well. It's a great class. They do kickboxing, um, aerobic type classes that they offer. They offer a lot of uh, stretching exercises, ab programs, uh, bike riding in the pools. A lot of emphasis on fitness here. It's a lot of fun. But yeah, we're looking at actually a pretty good setup with my fitness equipment, nice treadmills. Overall, just a really nice gymnasium that actually accommodates a fair amount of people. Um, right now, again, the numbers are down at this resort, so pretty much if you want to do, no problem. Jump right on it. All right, so pretty much every morning you're going to come over here for breakfast. It's the Grand Buffet here at the Grand. And as you come in, everything is going to be out of part. They don't have any real buffet type services right now. Who knows if that will even return. You're ordering from the menu, which is scan with your phone, and you pull it up on your phone. So there's no touch points there. They'll bring you what you need. Probably a limited or sort of toned down what you normally get on a buffet. But it's safe, and it works pretty good. JC Steakhouse, one of the best. It's got huge, huge cuts of steak, like for two people, or you get a big cut for three people. You cut it at your table, cook the order, it's awesome. Has some upgraded uh, meat options in there as well. But JC's, we did that twice on this trip, it's probably one of our favorites. It's a great restaurant. Um, right here is one called Habibi. This one's actually a Lebanese restaurant, we didn't have a chance to try it. Um, but I've heard really, really good things about Habibi. Um, it's open for lunch on many of the days and dinner as well. So it's a good one to go visit. Uh, Wired Lounge over here. This is a, kind of a game center. It says for kids, but we went in there a lot, shot the basketballs, did some of the other games. No charge on any of that stuff. It's all included. It's a great place for the kids to hang out or the adults that are kids at heart. 
So we love that place. Uh, last night we did uh, what we call the Jade Restaurant right here. Jade Restaurant is a Japanese restaurant. The sushi was actually really, really good. And uh, the dessert is great. We really enjoyed this one as well. It's probably my second or favorite that we tried while we were here. Um, I wish they had the Hibachi Grill open. That's over at the Moon Palace. And it's not available during this trip because the Moon Palace is closed down. But uh, this is the main lobby bar. Some great uh, drinks you can grab here just for uh, refreshers. And we'll move down here to kind of the area that we spent a lot of time at. Um, we got the Italian restaurant coming up. Super great pizza. The pastas are fabulous. A lot of people are eating in here every night. Really popular restaurant. And it's actually really good. So, moving oh. down further. Cut that out. You can book your tours, different things right here in the tour desk. They have great options for tours. They take care of you, pick you up, arrange all your travel. Everything's really smooth there. Um, this restaurant, we had it the first night. It's a French restaurant. My take on it is that the food's actually really good, small portions. Overall, I probably would say that the presentation's higher quality than the actual food quality. But it's still a pretty good restaurant. I mean, if you like French food, escargot, stuff like that, really, really good. Just wasn't one of my top. I'm kind of more of a steak kind of guy. Um, got a couple shops down along here, and with the nightclubs right along here as well. But overall, we probably every night spend time just kind of in the coffee shop. They have all kind of different coffees. I'm not a coffee drinker, but they make shakes. They have uh, chocolates and all kinds of great, great food stores over here. And actually, it's pretty good values. They actually have a lot of things on sale that uh, make it actually a pretty good price. Uh, but this is probably one of our favorite places right here. It's kind of the coffee shop, pastries, uh, frappuccinos, shakes made the order. They have about probably 10 to 12 different flavored ice creams. And uh, they do a great job here. We come here almost every single night. Just kind of end our night with a quick refresher and to make sure our bellies are stuffed before we go to bed, unfortunately. But overall, this is probably one of our favorite places to come. Check it out. Super great food here. These are great. All this stuff, all included in your stay. It makes really, really good. Watch out, watch out. You see right here. He's getting ready to make a crate. Um, this is probably the coolest part right here. Popsicles, ice cream. Okay, guys, just wrapping up our time here at the Grand at the Moon Palace. Had a fabulous time. Wonderful visit, wonderful people. We love the people of Mexico and the country of Mexico. It's such a beautiful country. Um, this has just been a, a spectacular time for my kids and my family. I recommend it highly for anybody. So if you like this video, if you learned a little bit about the, uh, the resort from this video, uh, give me a thumbs up, give me a like. Um, if you want to hear more of this content or subscribe to the channel, hit that bell you get notifications as well um, we're going to put some content on here that's probably going to be travel related mostly but we'll have some other videos that talk about vehicles and cars and different things as well so um, hopefully you enjoyed this video again subscribe and like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you